Hello there and welcome to Vancouver. This is a view at one of my windows. A lovely view of somebody's roof there. And we've got views of the blocks of flats, which is great. If you're sitting in the night time, you've got nothing to do. You can sit and watch people. Um, sports stadium. There's another one over there as well. Not sure what the hell they are. But yeah, and this is my room. And that's me. You know, so you don't normally get to see this. Right? This is what I actually use when I'm doing my walks. The old Codex ZI8. Right? But yeah. So, like I'll show you on the room, we always do this every time I'm away. So, that, this is my cannibalised uh, stuff, because I've brought the wrong set of leads, right? I've brought the European leads as opposed to ones for America, for the Americas. So, what I had to do when I came in was cannibalise the leads off the telly and everything else, sort of, while you have a laptop in, right? It's on doing the last render of the of the view. See, I'm doing a few improvements on that. Um, bed. It's been made, which is nice. The rest of it, you know. I stand the corner. You can see, he's got quite a. He's got windows on on all walls. You know, well, you know, half the walls, which is nice, nice up. And that chair is dangerous, right? Because you sit on there, and uh, you can. It seems like you can lean too far back, and before you know it, you're nearly on the floor. But yeah, so I thought I'd do a quick one. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to get this uploaded while I'm here or not, uh, because the net connection at this hotel is terrible. It's up and down like a bloody yo-yo. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do. Yeah, if, I, if I can't, I'll get it when I get back. But incidentally, I'm here from the 30th. Uh, from 20 whatever it was yesterday uh, until the 30th. I leave uh, 6 p.m. on the 30th, and that's me gone back home again. Um, so I'm working tomorrow at the Anomaly, doing a lecture there, and then six hours of demos. <sighs> oh, that's going to be harsh. <laughs> Especially when you're like, you know, you need to um, keep yourself warmed up, you know. Sculpting wise. Now I don't want to start using the Intuos, right? Because if I use the Intuos, I get used to the sort of the screen ratio on that. And when I go on this antique day, I've managed to pull on for me to use. Um, it's it's very slightly different, but it's noticeable. Uh, also been sorting something out, something code wise. But you know what? I may actually tell people what it is sort of tomorrow. Uh, anomaly, if you're at Anomaly, some of you you'll, you'll find out. If not, you'll find out shortly afterwards. Um, <coughs> something that's coming out of blue. Uh, last bug that was uh, niggling was solved this morning. Thanks to uh, somebody from Autodesk. But yeah, I like looking look out the window, it's just it's cool, you know what I mean? But yeah, I like that sort of uh, little stadium, it lights up on night time, it's all blue and lovely and shit, you know. But I uh, just got uh, some presents. Well, your presents so far. I got Ghost Rider Classic, the first 10 issues, 33 99 Canadian, for my son, who is obsessed with bloody Ghost Rider. Kane's obsessed with Ghost Rider, SWAT teams, and armies. Right? He's a proper little lad, so he's quite easy to buy for. Um, then, Emily, well, I'm not sure what the hell to get out of you, honest. See, it's weird when you're a bloke, right? You know what to buy little lads, but you don't know what to buy little girls. And I don't want to do the usual cobble of like fluffy toys and bloody dresses, you know. I want to try and get something that she's going to enjoy. I'll find some, you know. But uh, it's easier said than done, you know. But I'll, I'll find some. But yeah, so I was taking the photographs last night. Uh, I was the trip over. I'm going to sit in the bed. Was um, oh, a little bit harsh because um, I meant I had to be awake from five o'clock in the morning GMT. And I didn't go to sleep till midnight. The that night were uh, about seven hours ahead, so it was a bit like staying up till seven in the bleeding morning for five and then one twenty two, twenty three hours awake. And um, this is a bit of a strange one, right? But I was when I put my jeans on, I was going to put the travelling because I thought, oh, these are nice and comfy; they'd be nice for travelling in. And I forgot they've got like a seam, right, that runs along the centre of your backside, right? Not to put too fine a point there. Now, it's amazing how painful that gets after nine hours on a flight to bloody Calgary. At the end of it, I felt like I'd been flaring butterfucked by 400 huge blokes, you know what I mean? Seriously, it was terrible. I was in hideous pain with it. Um, so suffice to say, I'm only wearing something comfortable looking for when I go back. Um, but on the trip over, uh, we stood on the runway for an hour and a half before it even took off. You know, because, and then on, when I finally got the, the plane that was from Calgary to Vancouver, uh, I had to change the plane <laughs> because a part had fell off. 
and no word of a lie, a part had fell off the plane. That was what came over the tunnel. And that's why that changed planes and delay, because something fell off. And I thought, I did spite you with fucking Commodus, that did it. But, uh, didn't bother me. I'm a big believer, something's going to happen with them. But yeah, right. I'm going to go on because I'm rattling on and I've got too many things to do. It's amazing. I'm in bloody Vancouver and apart from a walk out to McDonald's and Starbucks and places like that for something to eat and drink, I've never left the hotel room. I'm too busy. And I'll be busy tomorrow. I might have a little bit on Sunday, you know, but we'll see. Right. I'll see you on the next one. Might do one tomorrow. Might not. I don't know. Right. Bye. -bye.